Welcome, welcome, welcome one more time to Moments of Purpose podcast. I am your host, Dr. Janice Brooks, a life strategist, people builder, and a temperament coach and counselor. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, your assignment, understanding your different assignments in life. And this is a series that we did uh, uh, somewhere else. And I just wanted to share it with my um, podcast listeners. I wanted to just talk a little bit about our assignments and understanding our assignments. And in every one of our lives, we have been given different assignments. And the assignments that we have been given, they are on different levels. If we were to put ourselves alongside someone else, we would realize that, wow, they have a different assignment than me. Maybe I am at this level and they're at that level. They could be above me and I am below them. And we have to understand that just like a step or a steer has different levels, so does our assignments, the things that we are called to do in life. And I want to back up a little bit because somebody might be saying, what is she talking about when she's talking about assignments? First of all, you have a purpose. That is what you were created to do. Then you have a calling, which is the tools that you have been given to carry out that purpose. And then comes the assignments. Now that you have the tools, the assignment is what I need to do. So I'm going to use the tools to carry out my assignment. And just like steers and steps have different levels, so does assignment. We do not get to the second level until we have stepped on the first level. Imagine yourself trying to jump onto the second or the third level of a step or stairs without stepping first on the first one. You have to exert a certain amount of effort. You may fall. You may hurt yourself. That's the same thing with our assignment. We have to be able to put our feet firmly down on the first step manage that step and then we move on to the assignment to the next step and so levels of assignment are assigned based on how well we carry out our work it's like promotion and because it is not given most of the times i'm not talking about the assignments you get at home or work it is not given by human then there is no bias or unfairness Someone can come in 10 years after you have uh, uh, started, but they have been given a different level or a higher level of assignment based on their, not just intelligence, but based on their diligence, based on their knowledge, based on the amount of study that they put in because we know that you have to study to show yourself approved. And so it should be noted that an assignment is specific and unique to you. It is simply what God wants you to do because for every assignment there is a problem to be solved. Every assignment is really a problem to be solved. If I were to use an example Um, a biblical example. Noah was there to build an ark to warn about a flood coming. Joseph was there to help his people in time of famine. Uh, When we think of Moses, Moses was there to help to bring freedom to lead people out of Egypt. And we go on, we could think of Esther, who was there to make sure an entire nation was not killed. They did not face uh, adversity. And you could go on and on and on. In, even in your own life, in the people around you, they all have assignments. But how do we identify the level of each assignment? 
And I like to say that favor goes along with our assignments. Even when we can't see it. Sometimes we choose not to see it because of our level of unbelief. Sometimes we choose not to see it because of our level of unbelief. And so we lack that deep spiritual insight to see the levels. You see, understanding is critical in everything that we do. We have to decide whether uh, we face an opposition or we face an opportunity. Many times people misunderstand what an opposition is when it is really an opportunity and vice versa. When an opportunity, they see it as an opportunity and it's really an opposition. So the presence of opposition in many cases is evidence that you are proceeding in the right direction and is being blocked. It is not so at all times. Just remember what I just said. Understanding is critical to know when it's an opposition or it's an opportunity. <clears throat> I go back to the Bible. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I go back to the Bible and I remember well when... <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm getting a little hoarse here. I remember well when Balaam was blocked by the donkey. The donkey opposed him. Because he was going in a direction. In other words, he was taking on an assignment that was not his assignment. Um, yet if we think about somebody as like a Nehemiah. And the war was his opposition. And the people, the Sambalats, the Tob Tobias and the Gishems. They were his opposition. But he refused to yield to the opposition because he had an assignment. So assignment needs boldness and it needs strength. It needs courage to carry out the assignment. I think about Joshua when he was told, be strong and of a good courage. And again, God reminded him, have I not commanded you to be strong? It was more than a telling. It was more than a command to be strong and of a good courage because he had an assignment to carry out. Another thing is that we not only come upon obstacles or confrontations when we have a right assignment, we also get to see it to the conclusion. I bring Nehemiah back again. Nehemiah was able to see the wall built. A specific verse in that, in that, in that scripture says, and after the wall was built, it means that he was able to see the conclusion. So let us think about this. It is a process of seeing the vision, then understanding the purpose, the calling, and then undertaking the assignment. And I'm going to end with this last aspect of it what happens if i jump or miss my level of assignment and how do i know if i'm lingering too long at a given level that's a great question and the answer is actually twofold as i read just a minute ago first ask yourself where are you with your assignment how well are you carrying out that assignment and are you ready to move to a higher level? Do some self-assessment because there is someone else that is assessing you, your greater creator. I remember when we were in corporate um, banking, we were given our own assessment first. You do your own self-assessment and then your leader will look at that self-assessment and they will also give their level of assessment. It is the same thing in our lives. The, the, the creator of our purpose he assesses us on a daily basis and we should also assess ourselves on a daily basis on the other side if you are on a step or stairs as i said before and you try to jump a level you may find yourself in serious trouble unless you have someone to catch you so you have to be open to learning and understanding seek wisdom concerning your purpose so that a jump to the other level will not affect you adversely in any way. And finally, 
when you are able to define your assignment, you will be able to know whether you have spent too long at a given level. We have to understand that an assignment is not a permanent place or a permanent practice. Assignments are passed through. Once you have completed one assignment, then you move on to another level. And people have to normalize that the, within your purpose, there are several assignments and because we look at an assignment, it doesn't look at like something that we want to do. Many times we miss that assignment and we stay too long at a level that we were supposed to move from. Assignments are a pass through. Once you have completed one, you move on to another one. It's like going to school where you get these assignments, you take them home or you do them at school and teach a market and, and you move to the higher assignment. So one of the main problem that people have is that they are unable to see when an assignment is over. So here are a few ways that you can know when your assignment is over. There will be a nudging to move on. There are events that will be orchestrated in your life to show you that this assignment is over. You have to move on. Many times you are forced to move from an assignment into another. And I use Elijah as a great example. Elijah was forced to move from the brook because it, the brook dried up and the tree dried uh, uh, up from over his head. So he had to move on to his next assignment. There was a woman in Zarephath that, that was waiting for him. And so God has to literally push him out of that assignment. And that assignment was more like a period of rest and rejuvenation because we remember how Elijah got to that place, sitting at the brook of, uh, 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 right there, the brook of Sherit. So yes, there will be events orchestrated to move you from one assignment to the other assignment. So my final words, listen attentively, be open to learning, consult the person or the master of the assignments, surrender what you know to what you need to learn. And surrender is when we come to the end of ourselves. Many people don't master their assignments because they don't they're not able to master themselves. They believe that they already know everything and so they continue to fail the exams. So, think about your assignments today. What are your assignments? What level are you at? Are you trying to skip some levels? Or are you staying at the level you are at until you need to move? I want to thank you so much for joining me this morning on this another uh, podcast session. Please like and subscribe to my channel or come back here. We try to put out a new episode at least twice per week. We hope that you have been encouraged, built up and blessed. Thank you again for listening to this Moments of Purpose podcast.